Hey, what's up everybody? It's the hyphen here. And today I'm going to show you guys how to easily install output expansions on a PC. Now, if you own any output plugins, such as analog strings, movement, signal, rev, XL, etc., and you've downloaded them using native instruments, native access, then I'm sure you've had some trouble trying to figure out how to install the expansions for those plugins. The first thing you're going to need to do is download the output hub. If you don't already have it, go to the output.com website, log into your account, and then go to downloads there. You'll see output hub 2.0 available or whatever the latest version is. Go ahead and download and install the output hub, then launch output hub and log into your account. And then here you'll see all the downloads that are available for all the products that you have, as well as the ability to purchase any other plugins. Now here I have expansions for signal and rev. You can see by going to rev, I can click on the plus expansions and I have the expansions that I've already paid for. If I go to signal, here are some that I've already paid for. Currently these expansions are not installed. When you download any of your output VSTs using native access, it does not install the expansions. So now in native access, you're going to click on the little person icon on the top right corner and then click on preferences. What you need to know is your content location. Make sure you know exactly where it's at. I have mine on a specific hard drive. I made a folder called native instruments and then a folder called NI content. And that's where I store all my content for you. It might be different. It might be on a C drive. It might be on a different drive, but you need to know exactly this location in order to install the expansions. Now I'm going to go ahead and close native access and I'm going to go back to my output hub. Now I'm going to go to signal here. I have three different expansions that I am not able to download. If you see here, it's grayed out. It doesn't let me click on the download option and it's because it doesn't know where to send the files to. So we're going to go to signal, which I already have installed again using native access. I'm going to click on download for signal and then it's going to ask me to choose an install location. I'm going to choose that same location that we looked up earlier on native access. We have to go to that exact location. So for me, it was my drive D under music, under native instruments, under NI content. Now, once you open up your folder that contains your native instruments content, you're going to go and look for the name of the plugin. So I'm going to go down to signal, select it and install here. Now it's going to start to try to download. Now you don't need to install it. If it starts to try to download anything here, go ahead and cancel that. All you need to do is make sure that the download location is set to where signals at in the native access content folder. That's why here you can see it says download again. You don't need to download again. We already have the software update location if you needed to change it. But now that we've already found the location, you see instantly that the download options for the expansions are now not grayed out and you can actually click and download now. Now, before I download them, I'm going to open up signal so I can show you that these are not installed. Here we are in signal. Here are the actual presets and we only have the 500 that come with signal. I'm going to go ahead and close it. Now we're going to download these expansions and when it's done, it says installed. So I'm going to download all three of them. Now that they're installed, now I can go ahead and open up contact or my DAW and open contact from there. Now we're going to go ahead and go down to signal once again. Now we're going to go to the presets. And now here it only shows 500 still. What we're going to have to do is click on scan and then it says to scan again, double click on that. And now it's going to scan all the presets that are located in that folder. So after it hits the 500, it should continue and then scan these other presets that we just added via the expansions. And here you can see that it's continuing and now it's adding in all the other expansion packs. And there it is. Now all the expansions are installed into signal. Now this is the same process for any of the other plugins. You can stop watching here, or if you want to see one more time how this goes, I'm going to do this now to my rev plugin. I'm going to go ahead and close contact. Now I'm going to scroll up to rev here. I'm going to update the location, make sure that it's the exact same path as what we saw earlier on native access. So my D drive music, native instruments, and I content, and then I'm going to scroll down and look for rev. Select that install here. Now it has the location and then now we have download available for the expansions that I already own on rev click and download. And there it is. Both are installed. Now I can go ahead and open up contact once again. Now we're going to go ahead and open up rev. Now if I go to the sounds here, we're going to scroll down and now we see the two expansions that I own are now in here. 
And that's how simple it is to install the expansions for your output plugins if your plugins were downloaded using native access. Please make sure to drop a like on this video. Drop a comment below if you have any questions and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.